Aloha Collective. It's Wednesday, the July 24th, 2024, and just did an energetic um, check-in for our collectives, chosen ones, and um, just to give you a heads up with uh, the timelines looking at. I, th I think the Lionsgate portal's coming up too. So um, we did get the Courage card. So um, yeah, definitely um, success joy, happiness, we need to resonate with that. And that's the key to make this portal. We've been going through a lot of energy shifts. So I've been doing a lot of cleansing, long time no see. Um, I just taking care of what needs to be taken care of, priorities, right? And so let's plug in. I already cleansed the cards in red. Um, grounded, did my prayers, meditation, and um, block, shut, and cleanse any negativity. So um, they are not allowed um, in this higher vibrational realm. And so by Jesus Christ, and my nails look gross. I, I noticed that I had, um, I was taking the paint off my nails and I had like some, what do you call it, fungus. And I was like, ew. So, um, I'm more concerned about health, so I just um, filed off all of my nails and I'm just letting them breathe and heal. So, um, my natural nails, <laughs> that's cool. Save me a couple hundred bucks a month anyways. Um, plus I have paints, you know. Us girls know how to do it. So let's take a look for the collective. So let's start from the first, let's read the bottom here. We got highly protected, covered by the blood of Jesus. That's the best card to start off with, right? God don't play about you, not to be fucked with, instant karma, breakthrough. That's right, especially for the chosen ones. It's pretty dangerous to mess with uh, God's justice makers. <laughs> fair and square no revenge or 3d low vibes like that we're into uh, 5d love and um, enlightenment and joy doing all the inner work and so um there's going to be or i felt holy spirit saved just all that we've been through remember we're um we know how to cleanse and have a fresh start don't be closed-minded or not thinking big enough or trying to be like everyone else well of course we don't do that but um sometimes um you know it might trigger us or a red flag to not give someone a chance so um make sure we ask god first and um cleanse that for any triggers is where we need to open up with spirit and give it to god and with gratitude to heal it okay um also strength the bravery sacrifice awesome boss energy <laughs> so that's our empress and um, emperor so we can just carry on right smartly no matter what with god or whatever god wants us to do god wants to put us in hermit for a while so that we can um grow in our spiritual gifts and listen then you know so be it whatever god wants right and you'll be blessed with new opportunities okay so the rest of the reading i'm gonna just let you know that it's um discerning using our discernment with these new opportunities right right here and now going forward is going to be um using our discernment and so even though there was you know that's life right there's going to be some changes natural disasters or whatever and we just ask god and um do what we're told and then you'll have sweet dreams and protected right we do our prayers in the morning and grounding and meditate and then at night we're covered by the blood of jesus so we're protected so and just use your imagination when something changes then we get creative and god will give us ideas and you will be okay because with forgiveness okay we can forgive but we don't have to forget I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love 
right? And also when we forgive, we can, it's like uh, turning the page on the chapter and beginning the new chapter, okay? So it's very healing. We can open up our chakras in a cleanse private area where nobody else is to, um, you know, just our own energy opening big and small and um, working with our angels and cleansing them, opening them, and then um, shutting them so that they're protected, right? Our armor of God, nothing else can penetrate. And also you have Angel Halil for Divine Warrior. Most of us chosen ones are angel warriors, earth and warrior earth angels. And you got Archangel Halilo working with us. Okay, and then I'm gonna make room. Making room. Okay, the next card is the world. So um, you've been closing out cycles and you've been looking at the bigger picture, the spiritual picture, right? The, all the work that we do to get to these higher realms and our ancient knowledge and a lot of us are star seeds right cosmic princesses and princes and so close out the cycles has results right we can reflect do the introspection on what we learned and turn that as to wisdom and keep it positive right because that's what we learned and, you know, if we have another spiritual test, we'll know the answer. Choosing our heart with God. Nothing to see here. Embarrassed, ashamed. So, um, you know, whatever happened, it was a lesson. And, um, you know, that's what we came here on earth to learn. Okay. So we learned and we have amnesia because we can't take an exam with the answers. Right. We have to learn them. And so very well done. And you close out the cycle and just do your healing, your introspection, your reflection, and always um, review what you've learned. And so with gratitude and send it to God, okay? Don't let it bother you at night, with nightmares or anything. It should be wrapped up, okay? And imagination, I embrace the and nourish the creative aspect of my mind all right and our mind heart body soul all together as one working with jesus christ to balance and any witches or warlocks trying to do their low vibe crap they can't touch us with the blood of jesus christ or too high vibrational and nobody messes with christ god Holy Spirit, Creator. And it looks like that someone here had to learn famine and sickness, okay? So most of us are healers and we can instantly transmute all of that. And being high vibrational is you can't get sick. Um, especially your foods. I'm an organic vegetarian and I take essential oils and living is the best quality organic. Um, cleansing, taking um, anti-parasiticals. I take a boron tablet with um, activated charcoal once a month, doing a cleanse. Um, there's all kinds of natural ways that we can just look up on the internet and working with Archangel Hab Habuha. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, if you mispronounce it, they're, we're te telepathic, so the angels know, okay? That's like speaking in tongues because we're not, you know, in the 3D trying to sound it out, pronunciation or whatever, sound it right. When we let it flow in tongues and our light language, Palladian light language or what you're channeling. Some people have that gift from their star family to channel in their language. It flows, right? You're not slowed down in any way, high vibrational. And God knows our heart, okay? It doesn't matter what, it's a vibration and um, higher dimensions. So ask angel, I would say angel H, you know, H of healing. That's easy to remember. And 
that angel will just know instantly by our vibration who, you know, they'll fill us. <laughs> so I'm working with their healing angels and an Archangel Raphael also, who I work with during the day. And next we have judgment, okay? So we have a judgment that is always fair, um, helps the innocent and God's um, has, there's a heavenly court and we can petition, you can, um, you know, everyone, our souls belong to Jesus Christ who paid the ultimate price and God, yeah, big daddy. Good opportunity being called the transformation liberation change of status okay so if it's in your favor or not it's always a lesson we need to learn and transform do we need healing do we need to get off of addictions do we need to raise our vibrations has it have we've taken too long isn't it like you know time isn't it I and mean, there's no time on the other side now really is the time to raise our vibrations always expansion of our souls is what we want getting closer to God. Um, someone's been sneaky and had a disguise and eavesdropping. So you know what? We just give it to God and that's their problem. God will handle it, especially our um, ancestors who are ready for war. <laughs> Maybe they've been sick, okay? And they have to raise their vibrations, right? You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. We can tell them how to get healthy and get their mind right and their vibrations raised but they have to do it it has to come from them it has to come from their own soul knowing what to do maybe that's why they're sick their body's um dealing with toxicity of envy i am the same as everybody but with different challenges okay well give these challenges give this god moves mountains um let's see then we have intellectual richness, how are you hell? So you've been helping someone, trying to um, show them the way, but they have to apply it, okay? Like a teacher in a classroom. You can, you know, can you take the top of their head off and pour it in? No, they have to listen. They have to really care. So, um, you know? it's all up to them because our soul is on our own <laughs> and finding the courage so this person you've been trying to teach needs courage i find the inner strength to face fear with confidence yep have it you just have to have it you just have to um keep trying you know and don't let any negativity um bullshit no projections that's not yours or any other things or um, learned behavior if you've had or they've had toxic families or negative things um, you have a mind of your own you have a brain of your own you have a heart of your own you have to use your own soul or they do you know so it's a learning lesson that they have to go through because they've dealt with a lot of criticism maybe they've dealt with bullies um they've had like demonic influences but look at these rats okay they're like they're insecure and scared themselves all right Hor horries or whatever so you know um this asshole hasn't grown up so this person who was dealing with a lot of criticism and assholes that weren't nice and um needs to find their courage to rise above it and um come from their own soul their own heart and find it within themselves to um restoration of their own life their own life nobody else can live it for them but them and this is Mihail. Mihail. this angel will help them with the restoration of their own life like a grown-up who can um you know take control of their own life boss up right step it up then we have let me clear it the next an energy is rising above the rest okay this is the millionaire attitude the vibration sending out 
contracts taken off fame in an integral way all right so it's lasting um things done from the lower vibration isn't lasting or um have good results like prison right um so you can get an unplanned meeting and then using your discernment from all that you've learned will help you um you know, are they going to be into nefarious crap? You know, you can feel that. Are, did they have a heavy, dense, demonic um, energy? Or do they have, like, Jesus Christ, light and uplifting? You know, they give it to Jesus. So, you know, that's for your own discernment. Hesitation. So, yeah, take your time. And, you know, sleep on it. Say, I'll sleep on it before you jump into any decision making. Um, I'm gonna sleep on it, I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna pray on it, talk to God, my angels, and see if it's a, um, what they want me to do, right? And this could be a professional career. Someone could be a chef. Maybe you're opening your own restaurant. Um, maybe you're a great cook. Um, or other professions, maybe you're a dentist, <laughs> or, you know, maybe you, um, whatever you do, something professional. So that's nice. And of course, being a professional, you have perseverance, right? No matter what, you just go forward and take care of it until it's done. Um, or if it's something nefarious, like some weird crap, you know, then you can just let it go, right? Transform it. Thanks, but no thanks. <laughs> I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings, so that's okay. Um, shoot, million dollars or all the money in the world or all the tea in China, I would never do something nefarious or harm other people. Nope, God's spiritual court is real and messing with the chosen ones is too. It's very dangerous to do that. And war and violence, okay? Because someone who was in this nefarious stuff that's going to ask you, possibly you're going to get all kinds of offers, but using your own discernment, um, the one that you're to turn down is the one that has the demon shacks war and violence okay that's um not of god so unless archangel michael you know because we're in 3d we still have to deal with 3d thinking knuckleheads that haven't ascended yet or gone on their spiritual path for enlightenment joy love and their poor ancestors <laughs> probably left their protection you know so that's for them to deal with um and then learn turn it around right and success we want success Ila hill Ila haya who's of success and you know we don't waste our energy and time on um ridiculousness we actually focus our energy and time on being successful instead of war and violence that's a more productive way to do business and be successful. Then we have here, what's next Holy Spirit? The Hierophant, okay, so God, God's here and um, leading the way, you ask, right? So we have great values, beliefs, a teacher, marriage, spiritual lessons, of course, and ordained by God, of equally yoked, right? In divine energies. That will be true, loyal, compassionate, loving, lifelong, right? Stable, kind, considerate, and, you know, chemistry is off the hook. <laughs> so, yeah, God will give us what we want. So, we're being led to, there might be um, someone in entertainment for auditions, okay? And I gotta get back on Chosen Ones. I gotta catch up, I love that show. And it's free, right, on YouTube or the app. Proclaiming your power, remembering who the fuck you are. Yeah, you're the child of God. 
is a child of God. We hold the God spark because we're in high vibrations. We've done the work. We do it. Low vibrations, they have to steal it because they don't, they lost it. You know, God doesn't work in low vibrations. They, God gave them one. They can get it back if they work on it. If they work on getting their vibrations up and going within and healing their child and repent to God and um, just pulling it up from the roots, all that childhood trauma, then Jesus will carry that burden for you, will fix it for you. And, you know, I was listening to Jesse Zabodar yesterday. She was right under Lucifer in that gross, evil, wicked, um, in Brussels that um, she talks about it because she was raised in that family, um, the bloodline. Um, Chateau, I don't know, some castle out there. Like when Bush said, the thousand things of lights or whatever the reptilian said, the bad reptilian, there's good ones. Um, she was saying the same thing, you know, like she's a minister of Christ now and that's who's protected her through all this and she's just like none of those witches or warlocks all the you know stuff that they do doesn't matter when you got Jesus Christ they can not touch you for miles and it's true so you know we that's why we go through these experiences here I prefer to read it and learn it from other people's experiences called benchmarking than having me waste my time and go through all the um, drama of whatever when I can just learn from other people's experiences. <laughs> um, but um, some people are hard headed and they have to physically go through the long, drawn out, painful, whatever process of karma. That proves that God is real. But if you get it, you get it. God is real. Jesus Christ is real. We have the God spark for those who easy, ask, free, and um, learn from other people's mistakes, right? Benchmark it. That's what we did in the um, MBA courses. And that's all we did for two years. So, um, yeah, it saves a lot of time and money and aggravation. So um, that's why I love reading bio, bi autobiographies and biographies. So famous, popular, public eye. So you could be on a platform. You could be like, um, maybe you interview people. Maybe you show um, other shows, maybe like Joe Rogan. Maybe, you know, you want to like Joe Rogan did for WWE. Um, maybe you're, he's had a great career out you know, on TV, right? He's been the announcer of WWE. He now has his own show and he used to do, um, what was that TV show? Like gross stuff, like see who would do something and they'd get, I don't know. But anyways, a TV show or game show or something. But um, whatever you do, um, you're gonna shine like the star that you are. Boss, here we gotta get Empress Bross. That's twice, energy. So you align with it, you got the energy, and this is in your stars. It's yours, nobody can take it, especially when you're covered by the blood of Jesus. It might get a bit, um, a lot, maybe an overload, but we're, us in this boss energy, we work overtime, we know how to prioritize and time management, so um, we are able to handle it, right? Um, and gratitude, having gratitude, right? Using our third eye, indigo. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents, always with gratitude. It's super healing especially when you lost a loved one. A little focus and your, ooh, confirmation. <laughs> My son, he's with me all the time. My invisible man, he says to call him. Okay, and then we have the angel of um, Celia, of motivation. That's what we need in perseverance, motivation and dedication, right? Not, uh, what's the demon? extreme opposites no opposites are lessons okay when someone's of the same heart 
you know, um, anointing in the spirit from God, then you've got motivation and it's real, right? It's eternal. Okay. Eternal life. <laughs> then we have for the collective billionaire energy just keeps going up and up. Eight figures. Um, let's see. Seven, oh, seven figures? Well, yeah, that comes before. Six is 100,000. Seven is a million. Eight is billion. Then we have a deal, a deal, big money. Um, you know what? Maybe you're like um, those people that go on, um, what is that? Where they have like a product, right? They invent something or they have a great idea. And those people, well, those wealthy people who want to invest in them or not, I forget. I'm not a big TV watcher. But, well, actually, I am, but I'm selective on my shows. <laughs> Um, but you're probably going to come up with some, your imagination. You're going to have an idea or something, maybe a kid's toy that is going to take off. All right. <laughs> and maybe a Barbie doll, whatever it is. It doesn't matter. Some, it, there's a lot of kids. <laughs> so running away, hiding out, escape. So remember to stay balanced. Okay. Not to where you get to the point where you feel like you don't have a life when you're overworked. No, just balance. Schedule in your um, a time to take a break, okay? So you don't feel like that. See, again, so you're an artist, creative, unique. So you, who knows, maybe you can play the guitar like Slash or... <laughs> something that is into intellectual property always get a patent on that because there's you know always some knucklehead that wants to challenge that and you will be um, solid and someone's gonna help you with this maybe you'll have like um, a patent attorney maybe you know you will get um, your business with um, you're gonna have employees so you need to get business with insurance um, so anyway, you can have a business consultant or someone who's an expert in the field that can help you, um, make this solid. All right. Cover all your bases, you know, like, um, prevention, right? Prevention is always, um, 99% of the problem solved and we have humor, you know, stay lighthearted. And, um, I choose to focus on the lighter side of life always look on the lighter side of life, right? Like Jesus Christ. And um, it just really helps with the raising the vibrations too. And health, all right? Your high vibrations will keep you healthy. Then we have Angel Vasariya, clemency and equilibrium, all right? Stay in balance, stay in, work hard, but also stay balanced, okay? And remember, you know, don't get overwhelmed or overworked. Just schedule in your time management well, and you'll be all right. And, okay. So here we have, here we have another golden opportunity. I mean, can't make it up. These all like, totally resonate. And so this is looking good collective, especially since you forgave and you closed the last, you, you know, last cycle and send it off with love and light, right? And peace and harmony. So, you know, you got the golden ticket. You've done your inner work and your outer work and you, you know, the vibrations, the timeline, you're probably on the positive timeline, um, the higher vibrational one. And you are getting a once in a lifetime wheel of fortune. So you're gonna have some choices, okay? And again, that's great because, I mean, even if you have one choice, it's still a choice, yes or no, right? And um, ask God, you know? That's all I can say because that's a lot. That will solve a lot of headache in the future. <laughs> Growth overcoming. So because of what you've been through, you've grew and um, you, you overcome, you know, um, what the wheat from the chaff, how God separates the wheat from the chaff, you know, the, the real substance food 
from, you know, the, like when you take the, off a corn, right? You're gonna chuck a corn and then you're gonna throw away the outside and you're gonna eat the good substance food. Man can't live by bread alone. So this lesson is very wise and nurtured your soul and you can um, make wise decisions um, with strategy, right? Um, but the Empress, boss energy, the Empress is the queen of the board. So, and the queen is um, pretty powerful. And in fact, she's like the, almost the most powerful. Actually, she is the most powerful on the chess game because um, she protects the king, right? So, and then all these other, my son was really good at um, chess. He's, he was on the team, so he used to whoop us really fast. <laughs> Um, but we got the Empress Boss Queen, so, right? You're, you're really powerful, but you're very modest about it. And your gift, right? You, um, your gift from God, your God spark, your vision, and your goal, right? You got the stamina to go for it. And watch out for people being fake, right? We want true, real, authentic people, you know? No matter what is best anyone who's fake isn't worth our time at all so god will reveal that and if we're supposed to help them or just um move on so um here we have angel spiritual communication nanael okay instead of the karmic lesson ignorance that's the darkness, okay? No, no, no. Thank God we have this already learned. Spiritual communication, no, no. So you're intuitive. You're probably a medium or a prophet. And you use your um, your clairs, right? We just saw the um, third eye. So um, a lot of the chosen ones have used their third eye, have the gift of sight from God. Um, and you keep that in balance, you know, balance the scales, which is after judgment, right? And karmic justice, then, um, God has, he always brings nature back into equilibrium and balance the scales, yin yang, um, stretching, moving our body, getting our blood flowing, makes our heart beat too. And we have, someone's missing you, collective thinking about what to say hmm interesting so only you would know who this is then we have bullseye on target a shot in the dark okay so um huh. well someone's not really using their um their vision their gift from god or sometimes we're not allowed to see it when it's in a, a test, a spiritual test. They won't tell us. <laughs> um, also, ask God and your angels, all right? So you can um, not take a shot in the dark. You're, you're, you can see clearly exactly what you're aiming at, all right? And we have an adventure, okay? So maybe we're going to be a tour guide, you know, or you're just going to take a vacation. It is summer, so enjoy your summertime. Be safe safe travels and okay pride has to definitely be balanced right because that's how lucifer had his fall from um he wanted to be god and fell from heaven so um we can have you know some pride and caring about what we do and then again humble enough to stay close to our god our spirit number one self-esteem self-worth and the ego and um, how Jesus was channeled and said to keep the ego in check, which is the devil, um, is that the, he shouldn't, the ego shouldn't be the whole house and foundation. The ego should just be a picture on a wall. Okay. So that's a good um, example. And we also have coach. So maybe you're in um, university or you're taking um, a class. Hopefully from someone who is knowledgeable and not from some knucklehead who thinks they know it all. <laughs> but you use your own discernment. 
and this will bring you a lot of peace and uh, I am a being of love and I release all negative energy right we are children of God God is love that's how he created right the Alpha and the Omega and God is love pure love funny we get pride twice so um so you put a lot of care and love into yourself yet not where it's overbearing that you know you come you know too much we have to keep everything in check and balance i love myself and i see myself and everyone we are really one this is a um illusion that we're separated and we have to love ourselves because being children of God God is love we are love and we need to be grateful for all how hard our body works for us you know and the universes and the universal support that we get chosen ones I mean it's just amazing and we have purification so Hariel, that's what I've been doing, going through a lot of purification and cleansing and um, oh, what's the opposite lesson? Religious conflicts. Yeah. Illegos. Sounds like ego. Um, yeah. So that's man's rules. But with God, purification, staying clean, right? Cleanliness is godliness. We have to protect our energy, cleanse our energy, cleanse the energy off our food, right? Bless our food. Everything that I purchase, I bring into my house, these cards. I always cleanse with the Holy Spirit. And, um, you know, it's just everything, see everything in a vibration. When Jesus saw quantum. And when we open our, um, our third eye more wider and we get into 5d and more quantum seeing we will see more in quantum vibration energy of um god's perfect i'm not saying i'm perfect i have a lot to learn i'm not as old as my dad but um got a lot to learn still yet um we are we have his song dna singing and we each have our own unique song Hangman, surrender, prophecy, sacrifice, trials, new perspective. So, um, who is it? Sonia Elysius. I'm, I am Sonia Elysius on YouTube. She's going to do like a fasting. And if you want to join her, I think it's a seven day fasting. Now, if you feel like you're going to, it will speed up, you know, your prayers and manifestations. It's just that, um, you know, if you feel lightheaded or something, have like some grapes or a salad, okay? Don't, you know, make yourself pass out, okay? It's just less, right? Less of more of the mundane stuff, right? Um, but stay healthy. <laughs> um, okay, so someone who's fun and games, not serious, all right? So um, I don't have time for this, you know? I'm not into that, but let's see compromise so someone wants to compromise about this but you know it looks like you just got serious and you're into your spirituality you have a new perspective on um, being your prophet and surrendering this nonsense to God and you've been persevering I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to good you've been staying focused and um, building your self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. The soul, your Holy Spirit. And the demons and the angels. So we have the angel, Me Bahel, truth and justice. Um, looks like this angel just whacked someone's head off. So this angel isn't playing, okay? This angel is also about um, being real and just not of fun and games, but of um, loyalty and truth and justice. And then opposite would be to learn the lesson, Lyre, which is fake testimony. Yeah, fake testimony of lies and the masks not real who has time for that you know and we know how to invest in something that is um 
growth and you know blessed by God anointed so um your angel is me by hell me behead ya if you're a baddie <laughs> but looks like you learned this lesson so um Bileth is oh there's a there's a lesson here so the demon Bileth Westrels and vagabonds Ooh, so this is like a user and someone who's like needy um, but learning the lesson of loyalty um, is the angel Azalel okay so the opposite is a lesson and then um, the same the same heart loyalty so yeah so that would be the fun and games and the compromising and all that childish stuff would be rest rails and vagabonds and loyalty it comes with truth and justice, self-esteem, perseverance, and you stand firm on that and enlightenment and in your spirituality. Good job. And last but not least, let's clean the board. Okay, an apology. So, um, guilt, confession, and forgiveness. Well, you already forgave, right? Even if you haven't even been asked, right? You just healed with forgiveness and send it to God with love and light. And, you know, either you got married, found love with your equal, your equally yoked, ordained by God, the spirit, sweet love, couple, and dependency dependency on you know team equal right give and take and um or marry to christ right <laughs> the bride of christ and there's a compassion chemistry deep intense love so this is a very um hot <laughs> time together but it's deep love you know it's real and investigating research and watching or this will come you know at this timelines there's um just see how it resonates with you and what are we investigating and researching Ew, there's a dirty yuck mouth bad breath poor hygiene smelly cat <laughs> ladies that is disgusting. No smelly cats. Bad breath. Nasty house. Oh, gross. And you know, like your house is really a reflection of your mind. Like feng shui. Or feng shui? Did I say that right? And yeah, very careless. And so whatever. That's investigating research and watching. I wonder why these two, Lord sorry well when you're married it takes two to tango <laughs> so you know the sex and passion is like a small part of a marriage because you have um a lot of other variables to deal with so i don't know maybe she's apologizing for having a nasty house and a smelly cat <laughs> And if you got bad breath, go to the dentist. You probably have a cavity. Oh no. I'll check one more. Hold on. Holy Spirit, show us this investigation, research on something dirty. Maybe a dirty offer. I don't know. Clarify this for us, Holy Spirit. Ooh. Wow. I just went flying. Okay, denial. Someone's in denial. Someone's in denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. Okay, maybe that's why they're apologizing. Let me get the one that flew over there. Over there. Excuse me, Georgia. Yeah, really? Do we have to end this reading on denial and guilt? Low vibe stuff? 
Well, we need to, um, what was it? Forgiveness, right? You need to forgive yourself. Guilt. You know, I can't cry over spilt milk. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. Well, I love that. So, um, this has got to be somebody who took the time to introspect, reflect, do the inner healing work, right? Pull it up from the roots. They're very, um, you know, here it is, guilt, right? Forgiveness. We need to forgive ourselves and change, right? Should I, you can say you're sorry you want, but um, the people who act it <laughs> is real, right? There's no mask in that. Um, guilt. So, forgiveness. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. Okay? So, if you're feeling guilty, release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. Right? Enlightenment. Healing. Raising your vibrations. Not going down the hole. Climbing up through it. Light the fire in your butt and get back up, right? What makes you happy? And and in a spiritual way. <laughs> Denial, okay, so I acknowledge my fear, right? Fear isn't real, it's false evidence appearing real. But I replace it with insight and awareness. Spiritual insight, right? Listening to our God-given intuition. People in low vibes pinch that off. That, that silver cord, that connection to God. Open it. Raise your vibrations. Open it. Work on listening to your spiritual gifts. You know, so your angels aren't, you know, trying to get your attention constantly, trying to warn you of this, warn you of that. Or you got the warning. You felt the, the stomach, you know, or you get the clear sentence where you are feeling it, right, in your body. And that's your angels trying to get your attention that gut feeling that you need to um replace your fear with insight of awareness your spiritual insight and your spiritual awareness your spiritual insight of listening to your divine guidance if you're getting clear sentience upset stomach or feeling arms pulling you back or something those are your angels saying whatever they're telling you so you have insight knowing wisdom right and awareness of it i get it i get it angels i'm going to listen to you and i'm going to do what you say because it always turns out for my best and highest good okay <laughs> so um i hope this helps you collective i love you guys the divinity in me honors the divinity in you Peace out. Two and two. Take care.